the funeral of a Jew in that day was almost nothing like our funerals today. Uh, first of all, the Jews never cremated. They always buried. The only bodies that were ever burned were the bodies of criminals or beggars. And that's what would have happened to Jesus's body, by the way. Had Joseph of Arimathea and Nicodemus not been willing to put their line, neck on the line and ask for Jesus's body, his body would have been taken off the cross with a crowbar and then burned with the garbage as a criminal. But Joseph of Arimathea, a wealthy man, got permission, and Nicodemus helped him, burying Jesus in his own tomb. Jesus was buried in a borrowed tomb. And, and that sets him apart from anyone else in history. He's the only guy in the world who can borrow a tomb, right? Like you could borrow five bucks from somebody. You could borrow someone's truck when you need to move, but only the son of God could borrow a grave. He went into it like we go into a hotel room. I'll only need it for the weekend. Jesus Christ rose from the dead. And I think that sets him apart from anyone else who's ever walked the dusty roads of this earth. 